Welcome everyone, this video will go over all the locations to obtain the pain respect achievement in the epilogue, as well as sharing the remaining gang members location and all the end credit scenes linking Red Dead Redemption 2 to Red Dead Redemption 1 and concluding this epic story. Needless to say, this video is within spoiler territory. First up, we're going north of Coulter, on the east side of the Spider Gold. There lies in peace little Jenny Kirk. Jenny was wounded during the shootout of the Blackwater Ferry Drum, and when the gang tried to escape the law in the Ambarinos, Jenny succumbed to her injuries and passed away before the gang could reach Coulter and the event of Chapter 1. The next fallen companion we're going to pay respect to is located in Coulter, in the graveyard near the abandoned chapel. At the back, you will find the grave of Dave Kalanda. Dave was also wounded during the failed ferry robbery in Blackwater and passes away as the gang reaches Coulter. His brother, Mac, was killed during the robbery by the Pinkertons. Just a bit north of the Clemens Point camp from Chapter 3, not far from the horse fence, is where our third camp member is buried. This is Sean's burial site made by Bill following the road's ambush by the Greys, where he was shot by a sniper. The next burial location is between Bulger Blade and Shitty Bell, not far from Chapters 4 camp. There lays Karen Duffy. He was captured by the Audrey Strolls in Chapter 4, tortured to find out Dutch Ten location. He was then killed and his corpse returned on horseback to camp at the opening of the Audrey Stroll and Bosch. North of Saint Denis, northeast of Laquay, in the Blue Water Marsh, is where we will find the grave of Osea Matthews and Lenny Summers. Both gang members were killed by the Pinkertons during the Saint Denis bank robbery. Their bodies were recovered by Charles and the rest of the gang during the Guarma events. West of Butcher's Creek, on a cliff overlooking Elysian Pool, is where Susan Grimshaw was buried by Charles following the shootout of Beaver Hollows. Southeast of the Wapiti Indian Reservation, on the western cliff of Donner's Fall, is where we can find Idol Flas burial site, who was mortally wounded during the Battle of Cornwall or Refinery, and later died in his father's arm, Rains Fall, back at the reservation. The last grave to pay respect to is on the cliff just east of the Mr. Hughes Hill home. There lays Arthur Morgan. As an optional opportunity, you can also find some of the remaining gang members. Going to Rhodes at the general Morning. store, you can find Pearson as the new store owner. I don't believe it! I thought you were dead! Pearson, what are you doing here? In Valentine, on the bench outside the train station, is where you can find Mary Beth. Morning! Mary Beth! John? John, is it you? In Saint Denis, near the city center garden, along the tramway, on a bench is where you can find and reunite with Tilly. John! John Marston. Miss Tilly. That's Mrs. Tilly to you. At the Annisburg train station, on a bench just outside, is where you can encounter rainfall for one last time. Excuse me. Hello? Didn't I meet you a long time ago? I don't know. With uh, Arthur? Arthur Morgan? Oh, yes. And to conclude the story, the end credits cut scenes.
guess we're just about done, my friend.